Welcome back from that short break and this is UBC TV and you are watching news uh, tonight. It's time now for us to go to that segment where we look at a particular um, a story that is making headlines and tonight we're looking at uh, 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 the issue that has uh, make, been making headlines and that is of course uh, pertaining to, to meet and the Uganda Veterinary Association expressing the need to strengthen surveillance uh, system to monitor the safety of food especially uh, from animals and uh, tonight in the studio I'm joined by our senior editor, and he's been here, he knows it all, and that is Mr. Deo Habimanda. Good evening, and welcome to the program. Good evening, Mr. Kaija. Today, of course, we are looking at uh, the issue that um, uh, probably also affects you, because uh, everybody in, in the country, apart from the vegetarians, most people eat meat. And today, we're looking at an issue where um, uh, the Uganda Veterinary Association is coming up to and is saying that they need to strengthen surveillance uh, systems in order for them to monitor the safety of food, especially from animals. And of course, this comes uh, in the week of uh, a recent closure of some butcheries and some uh, shops that, say, that, that uh, deal in meat because uh, uh, the meat actually has been uh, you know, contaminated. And they say that uh, from the abattoirs or the butchers, the meat is, you know, th there are some chemicals that are, you know, uh, are put into the meat. Your take on that? Yeah, uh, good evening viewers. I'm glad to be here to talk about meat. Mm -hmm. um, I am not uh, a specialist in meat, <laughs> but uh, I have read and I've seen uh, where meat is being sold. Mm -hmm. And um, probably to begin the stories, uh, as a young reporter, as a young journalist, one of the few stories I reported on was the hygiene at abattoirs. Mm -hmm. At that time, I think uh, there was uh, an, an issue of, of some disease in Kampala, and we were attributing it to uh, bad sanitation, bad hygiene around abattoirs, and uh, there were so many floods that time, and uh, people were getting sick, uh, people were getting contaminated, and all that. And it was uh, some big, a certain mayor lost the elections because of that. There was a mayor called Iga, I think, in Kampala. Mm -hmm. He lost because of this issue. That time it was flies. Mm. But and today, actually, when, you, when you look at the screen, there are some flies you can see. But do you avoid flies? Can you avoid flies in an abattoir? That time it was flies. Today it's not flies. Today it's <laughs> meat without flies. So it's a very funny situation. <laughs> however, <laughs> however, however, the truth is that there is a problem. Mm -hmm. Now the problem is, I think there was some laxity within mm. uh, the, the, the monitoring system because. The, 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 we have health, what we call health inspectors in Kampara mm -hmm. and probably other urban areas who relax the little bit. Because if people go to an extent of using um, insecticide, insecticides to keep away insects and flies and all that, mm -hmm. they are going too far. And of course they spray it where they put the meat at the end of the day, the insecticide. Exactly. And in they spray and they, when you reach there and they keep on sprinkling water on the meat, so it, it looks very fresh, mm -hmm. but without flies. So if meat has no flies, then you as a human being, how can you consume meat? <laughs> then there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. In the first place, they are selling it in the open. It isn't supposed to be sold in the open. It's supposed to be sold in nice places, uh, according to the food safety. You are, you are not supposed to sell meat in the open, hanging meat like this. I have some, some of my friends whom I studied with from abroad. When mm -hmm. they come and they see meat being sold in the open, they get shocked. That they meat can is even supposed to be in the fridges, it. it is supposed to be kept in the uh, areas which are well uh, aerated and which are well maintained, which are hygienically uh, inspected and they are very good. Mm -hmm. But you, you look at, uh, at the picture here, yeah, they are just in the open. And the flies are there. The flies are, are everywhere. Are they dead? They could no. be dead, uh, probably they have been sprayed. But you've talked about something very, very important here, and that is uh, about refrigerators. Yes, the meat, as long as it's been cut, it should be, you know, refrigerated. However, uh, there is a query here, and they're saying that uh, uh, th there was a study that was con conducted, and it says that only 34 uh, percent, that is uh, only 35, rather, uh, uh, butcheries, that it comprises about 47.9 uh, percent uh, of butcheries, had refrigerators for storage of meat of which 31 butcheries, that is about 88.6%, were in good condition. Now the others were not in good condition. Your take on that. Now you see uh, what happens to those, that percentage of those that are in good. You know, these days you have had people just dying. You are with somebody, you are working today, the following day here is dead. It could be one of the reasons. Mm -hmm. Because they consume meat, compare people who have some little money, somehow believe that meat should be part of the menu. And finally, uh, 
what is your take on this? Because um, uh, we have we have seen, you know, even in supermarkets and some other shops, you find meat is placed in the same refrigerator with uh, beverages, for example, and milk, sodas. Do you think that is right? In fact, according, I was reading uh, something to do with uh, food safety in America, uh, and they were saying chicken and, uh, and and other types of meat should not be mixed with any other commodity when, when, when it's being sold because they are easily contaminated. You know, they are perishables mm. and they can easily get contaminated. That's why they smell so fast if they are put in the open. So they are not supposed to be uh, sold with other, uh, other things. Uh, and by the way, one thing I didn't mention is that people who are selling meat, mm -hmm. people who are selling milk, people who are selling chicken should be clean. That's the first thing. Should be clean, should be well kept, should have clean clothes. In fact, they're supposed to put on white so that you can easily gauge whether they are clean or not. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing I didn't mention is that uh, today KCCA had wanted to close all the abattoirs because they are also not happy with what they, they have had. And next week, they are going to have a meeting mm -hmm. and probably they will do something. Because these people are saying, we also have children. If you close the abattoirs, how would our children go back to school? But you are selling meat which is contaminated. We want people to die so that you can get money to take your children to school. That is, it is a, some kind of situation you are in, but hopefully we shall be out of it. And uh, finally, time of course is not our best ally. Uh, finally, as we leave this uh, discussion, what would be your, uh, your advice, first of all, to, to, the, to, the, to the people in the meat industry and also to the consumers? Do you think consumers should really uh, take serious care in as far as uh, what they are buying is concerned and where they are buying it from? Uh, my advice would be to the consumers that uh, be cautious of where you're buying from. Be cautious, make sure that you are buying. If it's the goat meat, kindly make sure it's goat meat. And look at it and probably have time to be very cautious and look at the meat the way it looks like. That there is no chemicals uh, which have been sprayed. Mm -hmm. But by next week, because uh, Uganda Veterinary Association and the KCCA, they, they have moved in. Mm -hmm. So I think by next week we shall have the inspectors doing their work and we shall have probably clean meat. Mm -hmm. But as of now, uh, let us keep on guessing and probably playing. Player, <laughs> player can also do some wonders, you know. Always a pleasure yeah. having you on board. And of course, uh, this has been uh, Mr. Habimana Deogracious. He's a senior um, uh, um, uh, um, uh, editor here on uh, UBC TV. And we've been discussing this issue that is uh, making headlines. And this is a meat that is, um, you know, contaminated and uh, the abattoirs, uh, some of them having been closed. Uh, but that is a story, it's a developing story and we shall definitely follow it up for you. And uh, next week, of course, uh, there is going to be a meeting and we shall have that story here and we'll give it to you as it unfolds.